autographed trash. Get out of my way. Crash, get a hit for me. Shut up. Go like. Hey guy, you know, um, my wife and I drove over 200 miles to see you. Can you just say hi to us? Shut up, old man. Hey baby! Oh, hey! See you guys! Who are you? A player to be named later. Say what? It's Crash Dixon. The new catcher. Listen to me. If you want to make it as a catcher, listen to me. I'll show you the ropes. Oh yeah? Hey, Skip. Crash, I know what to do. I beg, I plead, I'm a nice guy. What should I do? Just scare him, that's all. Hmm. Hey, you guys, get in here! Anyone in here in 10 seconds? You're all gonna have to relapse the rest of your life. Let's go! 10 minutes of me, 9 minutes of me. Let's go, let's go, let's go! You lolly gag your way around the infield. You lollygag your way down the first base. You lollygag your way in and out of the dugout. You know what that makes them, Larry? Lollygaggers. Lollygaggers! This team stinks. We've lost 10 games in a row because you guys don't hustle. we got to get something going here. Let's go! Come on! This is a Jets baseball! Like, you can teach me anything, old man. I'm young. I know how to have fun. Listen up. One lesson, me. Don't think too much. You can only hurt the ball club. Now, post-game interviews, you must learn your cliche. You're going to play them one day at a time. So boring. That's the idea, me. Really lame. Next. Player on the streak has to respect the streak. Who cares? You know why. Who cares? Because they don't happen very often. You know this. If you believe you're playing well, it's because you're getting sex, or because you're not getting sex, <laughs> or because you, you wear women's underwear, then you are. Yeah, sure, whatever. Listen, me. You got a million dollar talent, but a five cent head. But you're pissing it all away. I'm not pissing it all away. I already got a PlayStation 4 and a quadraphonic iPhone. You don't need a quadraphonic iPhone. You need to be able to hit a curveball in the Big East tournament. How would you know that? You been in the tournament? <laughs> Yeah, I've been in the tournament. You've been in the show? Yeah, I was in the show. I was in the show for three days once. Three greatest days of my life. You know, you never handle your, your luggage in the show. Never carry it. Someone else carries your bags. It was great. Hit white balls for batting practice. The ballparks are uh, like cathedrals. The hotels all have room service, and the women hmm, all have long legs and brains. Oh yeah? You could be one of those guys. <laughs> but you don't give a crap, meat. I'm sick and tired of you calling me meat. Let's go. Hey, 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 guys, what's going on here? Take it easy, guys, what's going on here? I was trying to teach them how to hit a curveball. Oh, okay, anybody got a baseball bat? Take it easy, take it easy. All right, all right. Hey, we got a guy going to the show! Sorry, Meat. I've been known at times uh, to hell at the moon. You know what I mean? No. 
You be cocky and arrogant, even when you're getting beat. That's the secret. You gotta play this game with fear and arrogance. Yeah, right. Fear and ignorance. Oh. No, you hayseed. It's arrogance, not ignorance. I know. I just like to see you get worked up. Well, thanks for everything. I'll see you around. Meet. Ah. Hey, Crash. Come on over here. What's up, Skip? Crash, this is the toughest job a manager ever has. The organization has decided to make a change. We're releasing you from your scholarship. There's a high school catcher hitting 350 in Bluefield. Probably a bust. Sorry, Crash. You had a hell of a season. Well, dear, I got released. I know. So sorry, Crash. Think I can make it to the, uh, the show as a coach? Nah, not a chance. Bullpen catcher? No way. But there's definitely a job I think you can do. What's that? Brown screw. Brown screw? 